Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be painting this German Shepherd mix puppy. His name was Diesel and he unfortunately passed away at a really young age as a puppy and that's why he's a puppy in his portrait because obviously they, he didn't get a chance to grow into an adult dog. He's a rescue dog and his owner said that he was probably sick when they first got him. He weren't quite as robust as he should be so they only had him for a quite a short time before they ended up losing him. His owners have had another painting done by me which is on this channel, I'll link to it above. It features the other two dogs that they own and the style is pretty much like this one with same colour background and all that. So I'm using my usual acrylics which is Winsor & Newton Professional and some Liquitex and it's on Fabriano Artist Deco Hot Press watercolour paper at £300 weight and it's A4 in size. So anyway, I'm using a new mic to record this voice of it that I got for Christmas. So I hope that the, the sound is a little bit better than what it used to be when I was just using my phone to record sound with. I was thinking about getting another camera for recording visual, but unfortunately I've had to cough up for a new car. So that's going to have to be put on back burner for a while. Christmas and New Year have been a bit rough for me, everything just seems to be going wrong so anyway I hope things have been better for you over Christmas and New Year. I think January is that time of year where a lot of people just feel a bit down in dumps anyway, they've got no money after Christmas and all that. I've got no money because I've had to buy a new car because my other one died. And it's a month that just seems to last forever as well and weather's been absolutely awful, it just won't stop raining and it's just really, really muddy every time I take dogs for a walk. It's just miserable. We don't really even get any proper winter weather in the UK these days. It's all just this cold autumn like wind and rain and mud and doom and gloom. Now, a lot of people here do complain on the odd occasion we do get some snow, but at least it brightens things up because days are really quite short in middle of winter in the UK. So it's just really dark and depressing. The countryside just looks all dirty and disgusting rather than nice and bright like when it's snowed. So anyway, enough doom and gloom for now. I know it's difficult to talk about oh happy when there's no happy happening. <laughs> You'll notice these red handled brushes that I'm using a lot in this painting. And basically they came from a cheap set of brushes that I got on Amazon. And I've found them to be quite useful to be honest. They're good at getting like a softer effect when you want to get some softer, wispier fur and doing your blocking and modelling layers on smaller features like your nose and your eyes and what have you. When I want a bit more definition in fur then I go back to my Cotman Rigger brushes because they are better for that but it just goes to show that you don't have to have all expensive equipment when you're doing this stuff. You can sometimes bring in cheap supplies, stuff that you just find cheap on Amazon or in a local pound shop or something like that, you know, in a local art store and sometimes people have used like makeup brushes and what have you in their art and, and other such, the, the little tiny brushes that you do for painting nails and I've seen people use stuff like that so you, you can use like cheap supplies, just pick things up and just try them out. And since they're only cheap, you're not wasting too much money when you're doing this either, compared to if you buy something that's expensive and then it turns out to not be what you want. Which has probably happened to every single artist when they've decided to splash out on something that's supposed to be good and it's expensive and then they ended up just not liking it. It is true that sometimes you do get what you pay for. There are things where you've got to invest a bit more in it and make sure you get the higher quality product because oh that's cheap is just not going to be very good but when it comes to things like brushes quite a lot at time you, you can sort of go cheaper and pick up a set of cheap brushes and turn out to be pretty good and you're quite useful for various different things and my absolute favourite black acrylic I ever used were a big tuber Reeves acrylic which is quite a cheap you know supposedly lesser quality paint but it was definitely my favourite black. So anyway I've rambled on a bit too long and Diesel's all done now and I'm on final reveal so 
I'll let you just finish watching that and if you enjoy this video please get a like and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!